Now it's time for the young man who the Scooten family absolutely, positively adores, and everyone in Long Beach loves, the young phenom. He is Dane De Pasquale with the Scooten Surf Report. Thank you, Howie. Well, uh, the surf has been getting a little better. We have seen some, some uh, south swells coming in, which is really good for the surfers because recently, ever since uh, Tropical Storm Joaquin had, had, had hit us, we now, every time there's an east swell, we do have a drift, which is very annoying for all the surfers. Go ahead and ask them. But uh, <laughs> if there's a south swell, which is going to happen this week, that's what we want to see. So tomorrow, look for four to five foot waves with shifting winds all day, cleaning up at around 3 p.m., creating offshore conditions. So. Uh, tomorrow at, after school or after work is when you want to go pretty much because it's going to be nice and clean, nice barrels, and it's going to be pretty big, four to five foot. You can practice all the maneuvers you want to. Tuesday, expect three foot waves with north winds all day. So Tuesday is going to be looking great as well. It's just going to bring it down a step, a, a notch, and it's going to be clean all throughout the day. Um, yeah, so pick and choose your day. Wednesday, look for little to no surf. Thursday has four to six foot waves with onshore winds. So Thursday, I'm not too sure yet because onshore winds doesn't necessarily mean it's messy. It's just that the waves are going to be crumbling. So it's up to you. Make sure to go and check it, check the beach when you go down there to see if it's uh, if, if it's for you. Friday, look for two to four foot waves with west south wind, west southwest winds all day, creating choppy conditions. Saturday has two to three foot waves with northwest winds all day, creating semi clean conditions. So Saturday as well is looking good. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you have been following the World Surf League, but we have a winner of uh, Bell's Beach in Australia. So uh, if you guys don't know what the World Surf League is, it's pretty much professional surfing at its finest. Uh, all throughout the year, they have 10 contests, and whoever wins the most contest uh, is uh, pretty much the winner and has $100,000 in, in their bank account. But we do have a winner, and his name is Matt Wilkinson. So if you guys don't know who Matt Wilkinson is, he ha has been on tour for seven years, and he won our last contest, and uh, he did pretty well, but the um, most amazing thing I find about this dude is that he's been on tour for seven years, and he only made his, his first final in 2012, and hasn't made a final since. This year, I don't know what has happened, he has stepped it up. He has not won one, but has won two contests. This puts him ahead of the entire game, pretty much almost securing his spot to win the World Surf League uh, prize at the end of the year. And pretty much, you see this every year, uh, people will win two to three contests, and that'll, that's it. That's all they have to do. They can go on break, and they will win. Matt Wilkinson is looking on fire, and if you guys are playing fantasy, make sure to have him on your team. He's looking great. So that's about it, Howard. What a great job, Dane B. Pasquale with the Scooter Surfer Board. Great job, Dane.